Hi guys, Andreas here. Welcome to another video. Today we're talking tripods and my personal favorite travel tripod and hiking tripod, which is this guy right here. Check it out. So about two years ago, I was looking to get myself my first real tripod. What I had been using up until then is a combination of the Joby Gorillapod series, uh, various sizes, and an Amazon Basics tripod, which is holding the camera right now. And honestly, it's great for studio work like this because it's easy to set up, it's quick, it's lightweight, doesn't take up too much room. But out in the field when you're hiking and stuff like that, yeah, it's lightweight, but it ain't gonna hold much, especially if you're on rough terrain or if it's windy out. So that's why I decided to invest in something a little sturdier. And I gotta say, uh, the Zomi 699C was pretty solid and it was the only one at the time that had every feature that I was looking for. So first feature that I was looking for is a hook under the center column to attach some weight in the tripod to stabilize it further or to use it as storage for you know your camera bag if you don't wanna put it on the floor and stuff like that while you're out and about. Another feature is uh, on the legs of the tripod, it's got uh, twisty rubber bits, which um, when you screw them inward, it basically reveals these metal pegs that are kind of like spikes. And what that does is it gives you the ability to have good grip with the rubber on solid surfaces or rocks or, or things like that. And with the spikes on softer ground, so whether it's grass or, or dirt or, any, or gravel or anything like that. The next feature is the fact that one of the legs can detach and be used as a monopod, which is really practical. Carbon fiber construction as well, which means it'll be sturdier and more lightweight than its aluminum counterpart. Another nice feature is the legs do have uh, three adjustable levels for the joints, um, and you can change that using this little um, push clip. Uh, very, very solid design and, and no wobble whatsoever. Another great feature that I was looking for is the fact that it collapses down to about 13 and a half inches high, which is very small. You can fit it in a backpack on the inside, not just, you know, on the outside. You could also fit it in the side pocket of a lot of backpacks. I know for me, it fits in the side pocket of my Peak Design bag. Uh, and fully extended, it's also a full-size tripod. So the range of sizes you have is pretty big. Now, in terms of mounting options and height adjustments with this tripod. So the lowest you can go with the camera mounted right side up on the tripod gets you to about 15 inches. Now that's from the top of the mounting plate all the way down to the ground. So you can get pretty low just with normal extension of the legs and just mounting your tripod on top of it. Now, conversely, if we're talking about the highest point that the tripod can reach when all the legs are fully extended and both the center column and the bar that's inside the center column are both extended, you're reaching about 59 inches. Now, if you're mounting your camera with the tripod head inverted, so the camera facing the ground, so you can get almost with your camera all the way to the ground, right? So the, the number of angles you can get using this tripod is, is a, gives you a pretty wide variety and a, and a very big flexibility. So you're talking about four inches down to the ground, all the way up to 59 inches off the ground. So the variety and the flexibility it gives you is fantastic. Now the height of the monopod by itself when the leg is detached is about 45 and a half to 46 inches. Not quite at eye level. It brings the camera, as you can see, about a chest level or chest height. So uh, something to keep in mind if you plan on using the monopod from this tripod quite a bit. I was also looking for a quick release plate. Now with the quick release plate, I was looking for something uh, very particular. And that is a lot of tripods aren't toolless for the quick release plates. For those of you who don't understand what I mean is Underneath, you'll have like a, a screw mount. So it's either a hex screw uh, using an Ikea style Allen key, or uh, you can use a coin to screw it on and off your camera. But what's great about this is it's quick release plate has a D ring underneath for you to be able to screw your camera on and off the quick release plate, which is really, really practical. Another thing I should mention for those of you who use uh, Peak Design capture clips, it is fully compatible with the plate. Another nice feature of this tripod is its ball head. Now, a lot of people will scoff at getting the included ball heads with inexpensive tripods, right? But 
Um, what I found with this one is for my purposes, it works great. It pans smoothly, it moves around great. It's tight when I need it to be. It's never loose, it never wobbles. So not a bad thing to say about the ball head of this tripod. And it's nice that it comes with a little level on top too, so. Now, the one thing I was sort of hesitating with this tripod is the fact that it's got twist locks because I've always been more partial to the snaps. But what's interesting about the twist locks that I didn't realize at the beginning is the fact that it really doesn't take much more time to extend the tripod because the way the twist locks are designed and the way that twist locks function on this specific tripod is you can grab them all at once, twist them, and extend the leg entirely. And then of course you have to tighten them one by one, but it really goes up fairly quickly and, and much quicker than I expected for twist locks because I was always a bit hesitant with that system um, for tripods in general. So yeah, in terms of bang for buck, this Zome 699C is where it's at, man. Um, in terms of, you know, build quality and features and everything, I, I love this thing. So uh, I know there are other companies that make similar products. You can check out some other links down below for a tripod from KNF Concept. One feature that I do like about the KNF one that the Zome doesn't have is the fact that the center column can go horizontal on the tripod. So it's great for overhead shots if you're doing unboxings or product photography or things of that nature. And another brand that does have a lot of good reviews on Amazon you can check out is Newer. However, there are a couple of the features the Zome has that aren't on the Newer, which is why I ended up going with the Zome. But uh, you know what? No complaints. The only thing that I didn't like that Zome included was the carry bag that it comes with. It's a really cheap plastic fiber carry-on bag, uh, like a, with a shoulder strap. It, it's it's terrible. But I mean, with the size of this tripod, you're not using that bag anyway. Presumably, you're carrying it on the side of a backpack or attached to the backpack or something like that. So uh, it wasn't that big of a deal for me, but it may matter to you. So with that said... Hit that like button if you got something out of this video, guys, and stay subscribed if you want to see more content like this, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.